The first two kangaroos that we've got in the pre-release enclosure is Alan and Kebby. Alan was found a little bit under two kilos in a paddock. Um, there was no mother around. Wildlife carers waited around pretty much all day hoping the mother would come back. They usually do. Um, they will come back to find their joeys, but unfortunately this time she didn't. And our other newest resident is Kevy. She was about at one kilo when she came into care. Her mum was unfortunately hit by a car. Luckily, Kevy wasn't injured enough in the car accident and was able to be saved. And same thing as Alan, she'll be in this enclosure till she's about 15 kilos and then she'll be released. At this age, in the pre-release enclosure, they're still babies and they still do need my care, but I'm also trying to get them to be wild and be kangaroos. They follow me around constantly. We've got 40 kilo kangaroos that still come back for cuddles. They're really affectionate, really friendly. They never forget who you are. We've had kangaroos that we've released before that have come back two years later with half of their nose missing and I know they've only come back because they need care and they know where to come. So that's why another reason why the pre-release enclosure is so important because every kangaroo we release from now on will know that it's a safe place that they can always come back to um, no matter how long they've been released for. Previously we haven't been able to release at Whisker Woods because we used to use a neighbour's pre-release enclosure but now thanks to 1AM Vegans and their donations we now have our own which is amazing because I can be a lot closer to the joeys. You know we couldn't release them unless we had a pre-release enclosure so it's such an important part of raising an orphan and releasing it back into the wild.